Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu at the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today is Thursday, which means it is Throwback Thursday, where I am bringing to you some of my oldie but goodie, my favorite DIYs that I've ever done here on YouTube over the last five years. Because I've brought you a couple new DIY ornaments that I will be gifting this year and adding to my tree, I thought that it was suiting to bring back this DIY ornament that I did using Dollar Tree's LED lights. Not only am I bringing to you this throwback DIY, but I am bringing to you a bonus DIY ornament that has never been seen, that I've never uploaded, that is such a quick and easy one that goes right along with that quilted country Christmas theme that I've got going for my Christmas DIYs this year. So let's not waste any more time. Let's throw back and show you this first quick and easy DIY using Dollar Tree's LED lights. Then stay tuned for the bonus DIY using felt that you're not going to want to miss. It has such a rustic feel. I love it. Let's get to it. Alrighty, so like I said, we'll be using LED tea lights for this ornament. And because Dollar Tree sells them two for a dollar, you're really gonna get more bang for your buck. I'm gonna start off by taking the white puffy paint that I've been using all Christmas season, and I'm gonna place a good fair amount of this on the top of the light. You don't wanna get it on the wick part where it actually lights up. You just really wanna get a good thick coating of it on the top. Now remember this is a puffy paint so it is going to puff up and so that is what's going to add character to this and so we want that uneven bumpy surface. We don't want a smooth surface so don't worry about being perfect when applying this. I am going to set these aside for a couple of hours to let them dry. I'm not going to place them in the oven because by placing them in the oven we're going to get more of a smooth surface and that's not what I want. I dug into my felt scraps and using some black felt, I'm gonna cut out four even squares that are about three quarters of an inch. I'm not gonna measure these, there's really no need to. And I'm also gonna cut out two rectangle pieces that are about a half inch wide by an inch and a half long. Now taking some twine, this is about four inches long. I'm gonna hot glue my ends together and on the square pieces, I'm gonna place the twine in between two of the felt squares. And this is where we'll be hanging the ornament from on the tree. The rectangle pieces of felt that we cut, we're gonna hot glue to the outside of the LED light because we're making Frosty's top hat. And so those two square pieces of felt that we glued together with the twine, that's gonna act as the top part of the top hat. So we're just gonna hot glue that onto the center part of the rectangle felt that we hot glued to the outside edge of the light. For Frosty's face, I'm gonna keep it simple because I'm all about simple. Using the black puppy paint, I'm gonna do his face with dots. It doesn't get any simpler than that. And what's great about doing a face like this is that if you've got little ones doing this project with you, they can easily do this face. On the tip of the candle here, I'm gonna add just a touch of orange for his carrot nose. Here's a tip and trick that I find pretty useful. I wanna give Frosty some rosy cheeks, so if you take a permanent marker and a paintbrush and you just kinda run that brush along the tip of your marker, the marker is going to come off on your paintbrush and you can easily use this to give that clouded, soft, rosy cheek look like I'm doing here. And would you just look at how stinking cute these are. These are such a cute, fun project. They're easy, they're budget friendly. And I tell you, Allie really likes to do these. We've done them a few years in a row and so she likes to gift them to her friends at school. But would you just look at how cute these are and the nose just brights up, it looks like a carrot and I love these.
Let me show you another quick and easy ornament that is so budget friendly, you're gonna love this. This is never before seen footage that I've never uploaded. For this DIY, you're gonna need four different colors of felt. If you wanna dive into your scrap felt, this would be a good project for that. I'm making several of this ornament, so I picked up a sheet of each. At 20 cents a piece, this project is gonna cost you a dollar, and it's gonna make several of this ornament. To make this ornament, you're gonna need five different size squares, and I cut three squares of each color in each size. And so the size squares that I have here are from largest to smallest, and you're gonna cut two inch squares, one and a half inch squares, one inch squares, three quarter inch squares, and half inch squares. And again, you're gonna cut three of each color in each size. Now all that's left to do is to put this tree together and it really is just as simple as building this tree up from the bottom to the top, starting with the larger squares. And just by placing a bit of hot glue in the center of the felt square and placing it down on top of each of the squares, offsetting it just a bit, as you can see that I'm doing here. And you're gonna do that with each size. The bottom squares, the larger ones, I did use all of the squares that I cut, but I did realize that when I got to the last two sizes, which was the three quarter inch and the half inch squares, I didn't need, I guess it was like either six or nine of those squares. I used less than that and I really just did what looked good. And if you use all of the squares, it's gonna look a bit funny. And so just kind of look at it and make it proportionate so it looks like a tree. This here is the size that I'm happy with. I feel like it's proportionate and you can see here at the top, the last square, which is the half inch square, I only put two of. To top it off, I'm gonna take one more of the half inch square and I'm gonna fold it in half and put a slit in the middle of it. Then taking about a three or four inch piece of twine, I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna pull the hoop through that slit that I just made. Then taking the ends of the twine, I'm gonna hot glue them to the top of the tree here. I'm gonna place a bit more hot glue and I'm gonna pull that last piece of felt down, covering up those ends, giving this a nice finished look. I'm gonna finish this tree off with the trunk. So I'm gonna take two three quarter inch brown pieces of felt and I'm just gonna glue them together and along one of the edges, place some hot glue, put it at the bottom of the tree. And I think that this is the perfect finishing touch to this tree. When I made this tree, I really did not go that extra mile of measuring out every square that I cut. I cut the initial size square and I used that as a guide to cut all the rest. This is one of those projects that the more imperfect it is, the more perfect it is. are these ornaments. If you saw the last two DIY ornaments that I've done this year, you know that every year I come out with a new ornament that I put on people's gifts and an ornament that I add onto my tree for my kids. And this snowman was definitely one of those ornaments that I gifted, I wanna say probably three or four years ago on everybody's gift. And it was just such a fun ornament to add to their gift. I hope you all enjoyed today's Throwback Thursday ornament using Dollar Tree's LED lights and the bonus DIY, these felt trees, such a budget-friendly DIY. And like I said, they are so rustic. I love the outcome of these. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody. Oh,